I'm Sabal Edmonds with Newsbud. And I'm Spiro. What a roller coaster of a ride it has been for Newsbud. We have been in operation for less than a year and a half, and we are back again with another announcement, this time uh, a new addition to our stellar team, a man who is recognized as the world's leading geopolitical analyst, a distinguished expert analyst, a best-selling author, multilingual, with expertise not only on EU, but also Middle East, Russia, China. I know I'm leaving a lot of things out here, Spiro, because it is so difficult to sum up this man who has joined our team, and we are so excited, we are thrilled, we are honored to have him on our team. And when many you have someone like this, it is impossible to uh, summarize uh, his background, his accomplishment with only a paragraph or two. But Spiro, I'm going to let you take this part on and, and, and give us a brief uh, bio for William Engdahl. William Engdahl is an international best-selling author, a political economist, lecturer, and political risk consultant. He has specialized for more than 30 years in geopolitical analysis of global events, with special focus on the interrelations of economics and politics. Mr. Engdahl has a degree in politics from Princeton University, graduate study in comparative economics at University of Stockholm, and was appointed visiting professor of the International Political Economy at China Northwest University. Among his best known books are A Century of War, Anglo-American Oil and Politics, Gods of Money, Wall Street and the Death of the American Century, and Seeds of Destruction, The Hidden Agenda of Genetic Manipulation. His most recently published book, The Lost Hegemon, Whom the Gods Would Destroy, is about the CIA and political Islam. See, this is exactly what I meant when I said it is so difficult to sum up Mr. Engdahl's accomplishment. I have to say, uh, I'm originally from Turkey. He is very well known in Turkey. He is very well known in, in Iran. He is very well known in Germany. In fact, uh, he his books have become bestsellers even in China. I think this is a good time to take a pause here and hear directly from Mr. Engdahl. I'm delighted to be a part of the Newsbud team. I've worked with Bell Edmonds a period of about 10 years now, exchanging information and articles about subjects like Fethullah Gulen in Turkey and, and so forth. I'm an American based in the greater Frankfurt area in Germany for about the last 30 years. I find this a very useful pivot to watch world events. As an American in Europe, watching what's going on in China, what's going on in Russia, what's going on in Germany, what's going on throughout the world. My background is that I have specialized and, and write about global power politics, the misuse of power, I would say. I have written about energy politics, the Middle East, uh, century of war, mislies and oil wars and so forth for most of the last 35 years. Uh, several of these books have become international bestsellers, especially the century of war, Anglo-American oil politics. I have written what to date, as far as I know, is the only book on genetic manipulation that uh, describes the hidden agenda of GMO as eugenics, as racialist control of the human species. I am delighted, as I said, to be a part of the collaboration with Sybil Edmonds and the Newsbud authors, because I feel there is so little honest media, whether it be alternative media, mainstream media, it doesn't matter, honest media in the English speaking world, especially today, and especially since this uh, phony theme about fake media has been brought high by the fake media, and Newsbud feels a very essential role in that, in that uh, deficit that we face. What I plan to be doing for Newsbud is contributing exclusive articles on different themes, on global geopolitics, on energy, on uh, all the themes that I have covered over the years. Then 
to contribute in terms of videos two times a month to have more of a free-flowing dialogue with, with the listeners talking about the breaking world events and my take on those. And I call it a different view from FOE Mangal. So I'm more than delighted to be able to contribute in, in my way to share my thoughts with your audience. And I hope that it's mutually beneficial. Mr. Engdahl will be presenting my weekly video show, and this is his first exclusive show only available at Newsbud. The title of his show is A Different View with F. William Engdahl. Now, the first show, the first episode of his show is going to be open to all. It's going to be available to everyone on our YouTube channel, on our newsbud.com website. Uh, so you can get a sense, if you're not already familiar with William Engdahl, which many of us are, uh, of exactly the topics he's going to be covering, the in-depth uh, insight knowledge that he has. I mean, he's an award-winning geopolitical analyst. This is something that we're very excited about. But all future episodes of Mr. Engdahl's show are going to be available only for Newsbud community members. If you haven't visited our About Us section at newsbud.com, just take a look at this amazing team. I mean, we have Professor Philip Kovacevic, uh, who has been with us for over a year with his video show for nearly two years with his amazing articles and analysis. And I have to say, he is respected and known as one of the world's leading analysts on anything and everything Russia and the Balkans. Of course, we have Peter Lee, who has also been with us with Newsbud for a year with his weekly show, China Watch. And uh, again, uh, from his sense of humor to his perspective, uh, Peter Lee lived in China. He speaks Chinese. For like 20 he, years. Yeah, I know. He's been doing this for, for several decades. So, I mean, as you can see, this is one of the repeating themes with our uh, authors, with our analysts, with our producers. We have, of course, Kurt Nemo, the amazing Kurt Nemo, who again has been doing this, has been reporting with investigative reports for over two, three decades. That's right. We have the nation's one of the top constitutional attorneys in the country, uh, John W. Whitehead, who produces exclusive shows only available at newsbud.com. Hard-hitting shows. I, I love John Whitehead's work. Again, but I, I have to say, as far as constitutional attorneys uh, go, not only in terms of technical terms, he's an expert constitutional attorney, one of the top five in the nation, but I have to say, as far as the guts concerned, really saying it as is, the facts, the, the, the threats to our constitution, or whatever is left of our constitution, you can't, you can't find anyone who can even compete when it comes to John Whitehead. And let's not forget Pai Ian, who joined us last July. He's been with us less than five months, but we are already receiving so many emails, so many notes from you who wants his show every week rather than bi-weekly. Spiro? Well, that's right, Spell. Pai Ian is NewsBud's economic expert, and his show is Money and Fear. It's one of our newest shows, and it's already one of our most popular shows, and if you watch it, you'll soon find out why. Uh, Pai Ian cuts through all the propaganda. They want you to believe that everything is rosy and fine with the economy. Uh, well, Pai Ian gets, goes to the heart of the matter, uh, whether it's covering the Federal Reserve, whether it's covering, covering cryptocurrencies and the manipulations of the stock markets. Uh, it's, it's truly incredible. Great show. Fantastic addition, addition to the team. And uh, that just pretty much covers our video programs here at Newsbud.com. We also have articles that we produce. Sabelle, you write articles for Newsbud. Uh, we also have Christian Sorensen's monthly DOD report. It's a one-of-a-kind report you won't find anywhere else on the Internet detailing the monthly spending from the Department of Defense every month at Newsbud.com. And it covers all of the contracts, and there's usually less than 200 contracts that total in the tens of billions of dollars, almost a billion dollars a day in military spending. And it's all at Newsbud.com every month. We also have Bas Blier, who is a fantastic young writer for Newsbud. Uh, he is focusing on the Middle East, uh, currently on Syria, as, as it's been a hot topic. Yeah, Bas is based in Belgium. 
And I have to say, I can't believe the, the amount of work he puts in each one of his reports analysis. They are in 15, 20 pages, well-sourced uh, articles. And let's not forget about people who have been facilitating all this, making all this possible behind the scene. Those people that you may not see their faces, but I have to say without them, you wouldn't be seeing and watching these amazing video programs, video shows that we have been uh, posting at Newsbud every single day. In Australia, we have Brock West, of course, one of our newest team members who joined us last August. He's our production director, Raul Diego. He's based in Florida. And of course, here is another man who has been wearing so many different hats. He has been a producer. He's been an editor. He's the man who records our, our producer's shows. He's our on location cameraman. Uh, he's our website expert. I have to, well, how, how do you, how do you wear all these different hats? Let's talk about that. No. I mean, that's amazing. <laughs> well, there's, there's never enough time in the day. Uh, I'm just, I'm so proud of the team that we put together here at newspod.com. Each person brings their own unique aspect, their own perspective and expertise. And it's, it's really a top notch, fantastic organization that I'm proud to be a part of. And of course it's only made possible by our viewers. Yes, and we refer to them as our Newsbud community members. It is a community. All our articles, our video productions, our aggregated news, are, they all are made possible because of our subscribing community members. And we make these features available, whether it's video production, articles, our aggregated news, which has been voted the best aggregated news on the net period. And these are all made possible by our subscribing community members. They support us, they make all this possible, and we deliver. And I, and I hope we can say truthfully that we have been giving back more than we have been getting because we still haven't uh, broken even with our expenditure versus the income we are receiving thanks to our community supporters. But none of these would have been possible without our community members. And this is why we always emphasize the fact that Newsbud is a news organization that is only, only out there answerable to its readers, to its community members. Well, that's right. I mean, we're independent as far as our funding goes, and we're trying to get to the point to where we can be independent across the board. Uh, and of course, it's only made possible through your support. So that's why it's important uh, to support Newsbud. That's why it's important to join the Newsbud community so you can get access to all of this content every week and I, I haven't come across a website, a full-fledged news organization like Newsbud that has this level of experts, has this level of quality content being produced on a weekly basis for this price. I mean, it's just, it just, it doesn't happen. A year and a half ago, when we were starting this news organization, so many people, even people who were well-intentioned, they said, this model will not work the subscription-only community-based news organization. It just can't happen. Well, have we proved them wrong or what, Spiro? Not only we have made it possible, we have been expanding. All you have to do, again, check out our website, look at our About Us section. We said we are not going to use any corporation ads. We're not going to run any ads on our site, period. And we stuck by that. And we said, okay, we're going to do it and no ads, period. We said we were not going to receive any foundation grants because those grants, they come with strings attached. Well, we haven't and we are not going to do that. And what we have accomplished, what we have done, what we have been doing only have been made possible because of our community. Basically, it's a partnership. Newsbud is a partnership between us, the producers, journalists, analysts, our great editors, our administrators, and our community members, our viewers who have been supporting us. Uh, and, and I love this. I love this model. And I'm so glad that we have uh, proved all these people wrong, that we have made this successful there is no other news organization with these characteristics. 
full-fledged news organization with 14, 15 full-time team members who have been producing regular content, professional, top-notch, regular content, non-partisan, 100% independent, and yet with no advertisement, no foundation grants. We are going to give back to this community, hopefully much more than we have been receiving. And our community is expanding. We welcome everyone who is joining our community. And it's not only about, you know, monetary support, but people who are here, part of this community as constructive individuals, people who want to move towards real change, people who want to take action for the truth, for justice, and, and go beyond just the talk. Uh, newsbud.com, there's nothing else like it. I encourage you all to join the Newsbud community and stay tuned because this week, William Engdahl's new show will premiere live for everyone. You can also check out his article, his first article for newsbud.com. For Newsbud, I'm Sabelle Edmonds. And I'm Spiro. <laughs>